They won't know I'm 19 until I tell them I'm 19. Everyone's surprised. My whole story leading up to graduation is a bit unique, to say the least. Uh, it all started back in Akron, Ohio, when I chose to go to Akron Early College instead of going to a regular high school. So instead of having four years of high school, I actually had four years of college, and I graduated with my associate's degree at 17, and then I transferred to Alabama State, and now I'm graduating with my bachelor's. The, the path to Alabama State was also a unique one. When I graduated in 2021, that was the year, also the year that my grandma died. I chose this school because she went here, my entire dad's side family went here, and I figured this would be the best way to connect us all. They always spoke on Alabama State, so I had a vague idea of what the school was and what it meant to be a Hornet, but I didn't really know what it meant until I got here. And living behind that legacy with my uncles being in the band, uh, my entire, my aunties and my uncles also being D9 here, it was just a big shoe to fill, but I'm glad I came. Definitely the thing that kept me here was the family aspect, but I knew instantly after transferring to Alabama State from the security guard at the entrance to the RAs and the friends that I made literally on the first day that this was the place for me. I just became a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, so this whole semester has just been a roller coaster. Um, if we look back at when I first transferred here in 2021, from the block parties to the pool parties, even the teachers and professors that I met in the psychology department, those have really been the best experiences. And my first Fried Chicken Wednesday, who can, who, who can forget it? The alumni for Alabama State are a lot more connected with the students and student life and the university as a whole. I've met alumni from the time I got here to the time I'm about to leave. I'm also a part of FAM, so I'm an alumni ambassador. And I don't feel like I would have these same connections if I didn't go to Alabama State, if I didn't have that HBCU culture coming with me. The, the drive not to fail is the thing that pushes me forward the most because I'm still at the stage where I need to learn how to deal with failure and I'm not very good with it, but that drive is also what keeps me going and it keeps me positive. The thing that keeps me motivated the most would probably be trying to be the person that I needed when I was younger.